Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and for dinner tonight, we're going to Gagan Anan, which is Chef Gagan's brand new restaurant. It just opened a few days ago, so it's an honor to have a chance to go here. Uh, Chef Gagan, he's so talented, he's so creative, and he specializes in progressive Indian food. So in this video, we're gonna have dinner. I'm gonna share all of the exciting, incredible, fascinating dishes with you in this video. Okay, so we just arrived, Gagan Anand, and what's incredible is that Chef Gagan, he's gone through a full transition, and in just two months, he has set up his brand new restaurant, which is called Gagan Anand, and I'm just getting a look at it from the outside now. It looks like a hanging garden. It's gonna be a completely new experience. Swadikhaw, Swadikhaw, Swadikhaw. How are you today? Very good, how are you? Very well, very well. Good to see you again. Yes, good to see you. So, uh, down here, this is actually our G-spot. One seating a night. And just the design is so cool. The Downstairs is where the chef's counter, the bar counter seating it is, as plus a bar, and then come upstairs is like the hanging gardens. Our uh, arena G here as well. Arena G. So uh, okay. roughly uh, eight to nine tables here, including a private room over here. Once right. again, similar to downstairs, it's an open kitchen. Um, I'm just impressed with the design, especially the the naturalness, and it feels like you're in a little oasis within Bangkok. And I like how there's so much so much glass as well. The glass windows it makes everything open and has just a cool feel to it. Quick welcome drink. Cheersing. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. And Joel is here too. Oh yes. my gosh, I am very excited. This is like a dream. Really, it's like a dream. It's I can't even describe it. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. We're now moving upstairs to our table for dinner. Thank you. Thank you. Always something creative at Gagan Anand. And so it's the whole puzzle pieces with with the classic emojis on it. The glass or the wine pairing or <laughs> Nice. And I'm loving these like bucket seats too. <laughs> they have like a, a nice like bounce to them. Great job with the chairs. Yeah, you can bounce in them, they're awesome. And it's like thrownish as well. Hey, hi. Nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? Congratulations. Do you like the place? It's so cool. Like and you know, yeah, every so table cool. is made from the other pieces. Chef Gagan, and he just, I can't remember the term he used, but he said every table is just one to two meters from the kitchen, and that's part of the concept um, so that you have full access to viewing your food being assembled, all the incredibly talented chefs. It's about the eating, but it's also about the visual, it's about the beauty, it's about the connection to food, it's about everything, it's an experience. A little dry aging fish right now. Amber Jack and Bonito? Yes, sir. The first emotion, it's an uh, explosion. It's yogurt, I believe, but you gotta eat it fast, he said, or it melts. Pick up this entire thing. It looks like an egg yolk. Like hear it crackling. Oh yeah, it's like pop rocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that crunchy thing, but then the, the inside is like a, a yogurt explosion. It is, and we're gonna have 25 different courses. To, oh, here's the next one. So guys, we are moving for the next course. It's dedicated to the. He didn't say exactly how to eat it but it's not served with any silverware, so there's really only one way to eat it. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> it's like a cauliflower puree, but like so many flavorful powders. Dude, Joel. It's like a curry and like, like, like sweet and like, oh my gosh, my mind is blown. <laughs> like salt and vinegar potato chips in a curry. Again, it's like the perfect balance of sweet and sour and... Look at that, it's 
Yeah, flavors. No need to wash this plate. <laughs> <laughs> the next one represents autumn, served on an entire stump of wood. It's a combination of foie gras with on the bottom, I believe, is monkfish liver, or both of them together. Oh, it's so creamy. The overwhelming creaminess. Next bite is here. It's a salted egg based dish with, you can see, just tiny little shrimp on top. Oh, I gotta, I hope I don't lose anything, and fried curry leaves. <laughs> Immediately you taste the fried curry leaves. <laughs> but then it's just like 10 little crunchy shrimps. The curry leaves are like powering that whole bite though. So what you have to do is you have to choose the emoji that you think went with the dish that you ate to fit the puzzle together. Get the biggest of the ladies. So the next dish, guys, are the both of them. It's like a forest coming to your table. Plus on the top is the dry aged fish. I saw the dry aged fish over there, the amberjack. <laughs> Dude, let's, let's cheers. Dude, cheers, man. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Okay, this one is insane. That fish melts in your mouth. All that flavor coming out of it. And the crunch of the celery and like almost like oniony. <laughs> I love like the natural, so many uses of natural elements in this meal. It really has like a natural energy. It is bamboo. And then with like a vindaloo, with like a vindaloo spice. <laughs> We're gonna get close. <laughs> These are about two inches apart. <laughs> okay. Let's let's move a little bit further away from each other. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> the crunch of the bamboo and that pickled bamboo. Oh, it's so good. That is a tomato but it's like dehydrated and somehow frozen. It feels like sorbet in your fingers. It is familiar, I hope. Mm. Oh, 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 it's like a tomato icicle. Dude, it tastes like an entire pizza in an ice cube. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up, and the emoji is the baby bottle of milk because on the bottom, the wafer is actually made from caramelized milk and then topped with white truffle as well as some gold. Look at that. <laughs> what a dish. Wow. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's so crunchy. <laughs> the nut truffle is so fragrant. It tastes like meat. If I wasn't looking, I wouldn't believe it's not meat. <laughs> oh, it's after it. And, uh, I like how there hasn't been any silverware used yet. That is, that's fantastic. It's roasted or like charred vegetables. And then the ball is made from sea bass and something. I kind of forget, but it smells so good. Yeah, and you said it, you can just feel the heat coming off of it. There's some um, sauce underneath too. Yes. Okay, we'll pick up more of that sauce later, but he said to eat it in a couple bites because it's very hot. Oh, steam is coming out. <laughs> There's like little balls in it, like a fish ball with like a, a roasted smoky crust around it. Did you get to the little balls? <laughs> it's not smoke. Oh. 
Look. Mm. Okay, that is properly hot. Yeah, this one almost has like a Japanese element to it, like a Japanese Indian mixture. I think that's my favorite one so far. Look how in the middle. Cute. Okay, next one is the purple heart, and it is a heart, and it is purple. Everything is purple, from the flowers to the dust to the powder to the little leaves to the heart-shaped kind of like wafer on the bottom. The flavors in this one are subtle, but they like mesh together in such a harmony. Oh, you taste the, the sweet potato in there. And then I'm getting a little bit of like a coriander spice to it. Yeah. yeah, it seems like really light at first, right? Yeah. And then you taste the spice like in the back of your throat. Boom. You keep on chewing and wait for the flavors to like, to be released slow. It's like a slow release. Potato, tomato. Alu. Potato, or is it potato? Oh, potato. you're right, I'm sorry. Like little potato balls. This one, alu, alu dum. But this one is, this one is dedicated to the streets of India. some mustard oil. <laughs> I love that mustard oil. It just like powers it at the end. All of them have like an initial sensation and then the flavors hit and then there's always an amazing aftertaste. I have a little bit strange favor to ask you all. Can you please show me your middle fingers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> show me your middle finger. <laughs> The middle, the middle one? Okay. Oh, this way, wait, this way. Thank you. Alright, so for this one you have to finish it in one bag because there's a liquid inside coconut uh, curry made out of coriander, green chili, lime, and mint covered with white chocolate. Thank you. What's amazing is that, yeah, every dish is in kind of like its own mini adventure. It's more than just the food and the tastes, it's about the entire sensory experience. And so this one is a. Uh, <laughs> It's maybe the first dish I've ever eaten off of my middle finger. <laughs> For sure. And it's like a ring of, it's a white chocolate pani puri. And pani puri is one of my favorite things ever. So this is a, a total reinvention of a pani puri. Okay, we better eat before it melts. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. You should put your finger down. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck in this position. Oh, wow. That was sensational. It's white chocolate on the outside of that donut, but then it bursts with the familiar pani puri taste, that like mint chutney liquid on the inside. What a contrast of delicious. What's cool is that it's an entire rice terrace plate because the dosa is made from rice flour batter. One of the most popular of all southern Indian foods, but this is a mini dosa, which he fries right behind me. You can smell the fumes of the dosa and then serves it with two different chutneys. So the dosa, oh, it's just paper thin and so crispy. Oh, did you eat that whole chutney in a bite? Yes. Oh, and there's powder all over it too. <laughs> Oh, that chutney. <laughs> I want to eat it by the spoonful. Dude, Jill, that chutney. <laughs> Dude. And again, the flavor just like keeps on coming. Yeah. Dude, I could eat like, I could eat a bucket yeah. of that chutney actually. It's so <laughs> rich. Okay, next one. Oh, that one is good too. And the mix of potato. This is the most delicate dosa ever. This is the first dish so far where we have cutlery, where we have a fork. First dish, so number 14. Yes, uni. But on the bottom is an eggplant, roasted eggplant, I believe. And 
to cut it? Oh, you gotta cut it. Oh, because of the eggplant, it's kind of... <laughs> oh, it just melts. <laughs> and like the sweet bitterness of the uni with the like creaminess, the other like, it's like a different dimension of creaminess to the eggplant. Okay, going for two bites. Oh yeah. And then if you open it. Um, this is buckwheat on the outside, which is then fried and then said I think he said like a green bean paste on the inside. Oh wow. Oh that one is so good. That just says like comfort food. Yeah. Oh. And the spice in there. Jeff is from Portugal, so this is one of his influenced dishes, but he said all the parts of the pig boiled down. The pig face is then wrapped into a chili, so unwrap. Oh, they do give you cutlery on this one, but I think it's okay to eat with your fingers if you would like. I know what more is. Okay, I'll cut it. Look, it's just stuffed. Start from the bot, from the bottom or the top. I'll start from the top since it's stuffed more. Look at the insides of that. Oh, that smells so good. Oh wow, that is insane. Like the juiciest, smokiest pork. Pig face stuffed into a chili that it's like spicy, but not like overpowering and spicy. But you feel, you feel it. I could eat 25 courses of that. Next dish, this is a soup, but a summer soup, and so it's like an icy soup, and it's also a palate cleanser. So there's fruit, there's pineapple, but then there's also celeriac, as well as some nuts, like cashew nuts in the bottom. You usually don't see like a full gallon. Wow. That's like a savory sorbet. So I'm here to present you your next course. It's called Fish on the Basket, okay? It's a monaca made of rice flour in the shape of a fish. Can you guys please turn your fish? Squeezes on, sprays on a sauce, and they added in a pretty good amount of the flying fish roe as well. It's just fantastic. It's like a curry sauce on top. <laughs> What a contrast. This is something I've been waiting for ever since like 30 minutes ago when I smelled it on somebody else's table. <laughs> this spring chicken, I believe, marinated in spices and yogurt, I think, and then grilled. It smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> the tender juiciness. Oh, those are tapioca, okay. With saffron. There's still a mushroom left, a leaf, a cookie, and the one I'm really looking forward to, a goat. <laughs> goat course. Wild abalone from Japan with a pepper sauce with coconut, fresh coconut, and fried curry leaves. Again, those curry leaves, that's the initial thing you taste that just like powers it. That abalone melts in your mouth. Abalone has presented us with some of the mushrooms which is gonna come and in a later course, the last course, she said, beautiful mushrooms. Uh, one from Thailand, one from Japan, and a couple from France. Before they served it, I believe they smoked it out on because there's some wood chips down there. And it's so aromatic. Yeah, it just smells like roasted corn down there. Oh, the juiciness of that. If he says, if he says his beef is a liar, if he says lamb is a liar, 
It's not a beef, it's not a lamb. It's not a beef, it's not a lamb? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a beef, it's not a lamb. <laughs> it's not a beef, it's not a lamb. That's why you choose the one. Before you even finish chewing, like the flavor gushes out. I taste like lamb ham. Lamb ham. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it's tomato sauce with chili, I believe. Oh, that's sauce. I'm cooking the basmati rice for around one hour with the chicken stock. And uh, probably you saw the mushrooms already, what we put in top. Uh, so there's some porcini, there's some morel mushrooms, there's some oyster mushrooms, and there is a monkey brain mushroom from the southern part of Thailand. Oh, the mushrooms. It is so aromatic. It's like a mushroom, I think it's like a mushroom biryani, the poof of mushroom. Wow. Wow. It's just like a mushroom overdose. And the fluffiness. <laughs> yeah. The mix of mushrooms is insane in that. What a glorification of the mushroom. This smoking bowl, this has to be one of the most visually beautiful of the entire night. I mean, everything has been visually beautiful, but look at that display. The flowers, the smoke. Wow, what a, what a bouquet. Light and refreshing, very fruity, little tapioca. There's goji in there too. <laughs> This help made from the edible pepper. Next one, and the emoji of this one is actually the mushroom. Dude! <laughs> mushroom ice cream. Dude, it's like mushroom ice cream. We just spent the next 100 hours going to the Library of Congress. Mushroom chocolate. I love it. Yeah, that one is a shocker. Complete shocker. And the sourness from those berries, too. Mm. That's like mushroom umami chocolate sauce. Yes. We have made it through the journey, through the puzzle. This is number 25. This is the cookie. Custard apple on the bottom, uh, which is cherimoya with charcoal snow on top. And charcoal snow. <laughs> oh, the custard apple. Cherimoya. No, that definitely is charcoal snow on top. It just pairs so well. Harmony. Along with the puzzle, you get a whole sticker sheet of all the emojis that this meal consisted of. And thinking back, that really was a journey. Like starting with the yogurt explosion, everything is an emoji, so you kind of like reflect and can think about every dish in a picture form instead of just reading the words. I will. With the Milani, the both times. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that going to be for you? Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. What a meal at Gaganand. What a journey of different dishes, of emoji puzzle pieces. Thank you to Chef Gagan, to the entire team. Service, impeccable. And then what like, just stands out to me about that meal is just the, the fun. It's just fun. The entire meal is fun, it's exciting, it's positive. I love the new location. That's gonna be it for this video. I wanna say a big thank you for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and I will see you on the next video.